Greetings, 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 beloved. This is this is Elder West coming to you briefly. And I, I want to encourage someone it's briefly. I don't have much time. I'm on my way to work. But there's um, there's a there's a word there's a word that has settled in my spirit and I want to release it to someone. I want to help someone, help someone on today, on today, and my message is today is delayed, delayed but not denied. And there's two things that happened to me uh, recently, and it, it required me to look and to call. And it was concerning something that has been held up, a blessing that has been held up. And I know some of you, uh, there are things that you've been waiting on, you've been believing for, uh, you've been uh, waiting for God to receive, to receive it. And it seems like, and in, in, within yourself, you seem like something that you did wrong because you hadn't received the things that you've been asking God for, you've tried to align yourself with scripture. You've been nice to people. You've, you've uh, gave to people. You've gave your tithes and offerings and you read your Bible. You get on your knees and you do all that. Everything that's required for you, for you to receive what God has for you. But for some reason or another, it hadn't happened. And you wonder, you wonder, did you do something wrong? But what I want to do today is to uh, let you know you didn't do nothing wrong because the thing that you must understand, we're in a spiritual war. The Bible says that the spirit lusts against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit. So there's a constant fight on, on who has their voice, their vo who voice will become more prominent in your life as far as fleshly, the fleshly voice or the spirit voice. And see, the thing that you must understand and realize, the thing that you entertain or pay attention to, think about, ponder, is the thing that's going to grow. Because see, see, the thing about it, many people, they want to have power with God. But they don't want to put time in with God. And so in order to have power with God, you need to put time in with them intimately. That's just like in a relationship. If you want to know the person you're with, you got to spend time with them. In like manner with God, if you want to know who God is, you got to spend time with them. And so, you know, some of you, you need to go back. You need to go back and you need to pray more. You need to seek God more. And you need to fortify yourself more. The Bible tells us to strengthen those things that remain in our spirit that are ready to die. And so some of you, God wants you to uh, go back to the old landmark. Go back to prayer. Go back to seeking his face. You want to hear from him. You want power with him. Spend time with him. Even in troubled situations. And see, when you're in troubled situations, that's when you need to pray. Because when you pray, God's going to show up. God will show up. But delay, but not delay. See, some things that are delayed, that's a good thing. Because sometimes God delay things because you're not ready for them. Sometimes God will certain things to become delayed because you're not ready. Your maturity level is not ready. Because if you get it prematurely, then you're going to lose it. And see, because a, a, a blessing, a premature blessing can become a curse. That's just like in a relationship. You meet this person prematurely and you bump heads. Things don't work out because it wasn't done right. That's why we have to acknowledge God in all our ways and seek him first. Don't seek your spirit. Don't seek your mind. But seek God's way and God's spirit, God's mind. And God will lead you because the Bible says those that are led by the spirit of God shall be called the sons of God. Delayed but not denied. Daniel. Daniel was a prophet of God and he spoke for he spoke for God. He was a, a son of Ishkar. He knew how to interpret dreams and all those things. And see, but he was the he was a voice for God's people. And so David, not David, but Daniel, he decided he wanted to pray to God that God's people might get out of captivity and he prayed a sincere prayer he prayed an honest prayer but after he prayed that sincere prayer and that honest prayer nothing happened and i know some of you done the same thing you prayed an unselfish prayer for a certain thing for somebody else not you but still nothing it seems like god has hidden himself from you it seems like god has turned himself away from you but look what Job said. Job said that I, I, I go to seem like he go to work on my left, but he's not there. On my right, he seems like he's he going to work, but I can't find him. But then Job realized and understood that he knows the way that I take. And after he's tried me, he's going to come through as I'm going to come through as pure gold. See, this is the kind of mindset that you must have, even if you don't hear from God. If you don't hear from God, trust God enough to know that if, if God hadn't responded, then God has a reason. Because God, whatever God will do, is going to be for our good. And see, he may not come when you want him to come. See, because what happens, we, we become impatient. We like things right now. See, we're living in a season, in a time where people just want stuff right now. See, but stuff that you get right now, it's not good for you because there's no substance with right now. See, sometimes God, God wants you to wait. 
That's what that's where the aroma. That's where the quickening, that's where the awakening, that's where the where God can work on you. That's where God can mature you. That's where God can make you stronger. That's where God can make you see. See, the thing about it, when you get older, what happens, your eyes, your eyes, them, them scales come off your eyes and we're in, you're able to see Father. And see, what God wants you to do, you want, he wants you to see Father. He wants you to see like he see. But the only way you can see like he see, you got to get in prayer. You gotta get you gotta get it on your in his face, but delayed but not denied. See, but Daniel he prayed but he didn't hear nothing, and he stripped himself of everything because he thought something was wrong with him. He thought he had done something wrong. I'm talking about Daniel, and he prayed an unselfish prayer, and he stripped his clothes. He stopped eating and and all of that. He had, he had put it upon himself. But then 21 days later, angel came and touched him, touched him on the hand, and let him know that God heard him for the first time. That first time he prayed. See, but but the, the prince of Persia came and intercepted his blessing. And so he had to send Michael, the chief angel, to come loose his blessing. Hear me and hear me well. Delayed, but not denied. See, some of you, some of you, this is you. See, the adversary is fighting you tooth and nail. And see, God is watching you. God is seeing what's in you. God is seeing where you're going to trust him. God is seeing where you're going to wait on him. Because the Bible says that the vision is for an appointed time. And in the end, it's going to speak. And though it's Terry, wait on it. And see, God wants to see where you wait. Where you wait and trust him. Just like the three Hebrew boys, even when they, the king told them that he was going to he was gonna throw them into the fiery mm -hmm. furnace if you don't bow down to him. And they said, yeah, we're not going to bow down. You can throw us in that pit. See, but we're going to trust God because we know that God is able to. To deliver and see at the place where you are right now. I'm getting ready to close. God want to know: Are you able? Do you really believe that God can bring you out? And even if God don't deliver, that means that He still can. See, because God is able. See, because God has a plan, an appointment of time. And so it's, His appointment is not our appointment. His ways is not our ways. See, what we need to do: We need to trust in God, especially in this time. See, because pressure busts pipes. See, but that pressure that you're going through is making diamonds. It's making you into the image of God. It's making you. It's strengthening you. It's making you stronger. It's changing your eyes. It's changing your voice. And see, your voice, once you come through, it's going to come through with authority. See, God wants to give you authority and know and let you know who you are. And so wait on him because it's been delayed. But in that delayed place, that delayed place is that process, that process where you, you know what God is saying, but you're looking at your situation in that process. You know what God has spoken into your spirit, but you're looking at your bills and, and you're looking at your deadline and, and you wonder God when. God, are you really real, God? Have you forgotten me, God? Have you forsaken me, God? I, God, did I do something wrong? No, you ain't do nothing wrong. God just wants you to wait. See, because God is working something out for your good. See, because every door that closes in your face, every door that closes in your face, that don't mean that God's going to open up another door. Not that door, but God has another door. But that door is concerning his mind. And that's why we must seek God and wait on him. That means to serve. That don't mean not to do nothing at all. That means to a concern in your hands. Serve God, worship God, magnify God, bless his name, uh, be a witness, bless his name, begin to magnify his name. Why are you in your valley? Why are you in your situation? You, be, you need to begin to lift up his name. You need to bless his name. And when you're lifting up his name and blessing his name, God will hear what you're saying and God will dwell in your situation. And see the thing about it, God's grace is there. And what his, is his grace? His grace will give you the strength. His grace will cause you to make it. His grace will cause you to arise. When you feel like going down. See, some of you, see, some of you, just like what David said, I was in a horrible pit, but God brought me out. Even if I lay my bed in hell, God, I know you'll be there. And why did David say that? See, because David had a relationship with God. Because God's word left from his mind and got into his heart. Where he couldn't sin against God. He knew God was going to show up. And so that's what God wants you to do. Trust in him. Because soon enough, God is going to show up. Soon enough, God is going to come. And he's going to deliver. And he's going to give you an answer. What God is doing. God want to know, can you, will you trust him? Will, will you trust him and will you believe in him? Will you believe in him against all odds? See, God don't want you to walk by sight, but he wants you to walk by faith. It might be delayed, but it's not denied. See, that delay, God is strengthening you. In that delay, God is causing your strength to become strong. In that delay, God got you on that wheel. He's making you stronger. He's making you stand even taller. He's making your eyes even keener. He's making your ears even ready. And so stay in that delay because because after a while, by and by, your answer is going to come and not lie. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.